seems like when we slip into war through the back door, we're less likely to win, and the consequences seem to get out of control. I know there is no shortage of patriots or patriotism. What I do oppose is a dumb war. These guys are out of touch. These four years have brought moments I could not foresee and will not forget. I've learned firsthand that ordering Americans into battle is the hardest decision, even when it is right. I have returned the salute of wounded soldiers who say they were just doing their job. I've held the children of the fallen who are told their dad or mom is a hero, but would rather just have their mom or dad. I've met with the parents and wives and husbands who have received a folded flag. And in those military families, I have seen the character of a great nation. Because of your service and sacrifice, we are defeating the terrorists where they live and plan, and you're making America safer. I will never relent in defending America, whatever it takes. I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. The purpose of me showing you these videos is to show you really the two views on American foreign policy, and to show you you know, I got a record amount of responses to my video about uh, both the healthcare summit and uh, more so the Ron Paul video, in which I, I question Ron Paul's positions. And, and it's definitely legitimate to question his positions. It's legitimate to question my positions. And I appreciate the fact that his supporters are seem to be well read on his positions and are so passionate about. American politics, uh, some in some cases, others who oppose Ron Paul's positions aren't as passionate. And I, I really do appreciate all of the Ron Paul supporters, even though I, I politically disagree with you. I know you're all good people and want the best for what you believe is the best for this country and love this country. So I thank you for watching my video. I hope we can engage in a civilized debate. One thing that I wasn't too big of a fan on is some of the people started name-calling. I wish we can kind of stay away from the divisiveness. But I appreciate those of you who... Uh, engaged in civilized debate, and, and those who disagreed with me stuck to their principles, but also were respectful about it. But it is my belief that Texas Congress and Ron Paul's foreign policy is in some ways similar to this administration's foreign policy. Um, on the economy, they're polar opposites. It's interesting how two people can be so similar on one issue and so different on other ones, because both the president and Ron Paul opposed the original invasion of Iraq both of them, at some point in time, of course, the president changed his mind, opposed the Patriot Act. Um, these are just a couple of examples. Now, Ron Paul is to be credited for his opposition to the Department of Education, which is wasteful, uh, and his opposition to the president's stimulus and health care plans. Uh, Ron Paul has been consistent on, on those issues, but I disagree with his position on other issues because I, I believe that the government should do little but it should be effective. Ron Paul believes that the government should, be, should do next to nothing. Um, that's just a, a difference in philosophy between myself and Congressman Paul and his supporters. Um, frankly, the American people had their chance to elect Ron Paul as president, and he didn't. Uh, the three major candidates, McCain, Romney, and Huckabee, beat Paul, but I do have to give him credit for uh, out out getting more votes than Giuliani and Thompson in a year when Giuliani and Thompson at some point were considered top-tier candidates. Apparently, Congressman Paul was more of a top-tier candidate than Mayor Giuliani and, and Fred Thompson. So I give, them, I give them credit for that, even though I disagree with them on several issues. Um, I just want to begin on that note. Uh, and I, I wanted to continue to say that uh, I, I hope that the voters of Arizona recognize uh, the, the importance of the uh, Republican primary that's coming up in your state because you have a choice. You have a choice between a candidate who believes that uh, simply by talking about issues you're somehow going to get things done and another one who's actually tried to get things done, some of which have, has gotten to, you, you've approved of, such as the surge in Iraq, the Department of Homeland Security, the 9-11 Commission, taking out of the tobacco industry, normalizing relations with Vietnam, and some of you haven't approved of, like cap-and-trade, uh, opposition to the Bush tax cuts, 
the integration proposal, uh, uh, global warming. That, that's Senator John McCain. I think his record stacks up pretty well as far as, is he a conservative? The answer is no. He is a moderate. However, he's probably the most effective senator in the past decade, uh, decade and a half of anybody in the United States Senate. Um, look, yes, campaign finance reform, his support for cap and trade before he changed his position, his votes against the Bush tax cuts and the global warming, I, I recognize, and the, the immigration proposal, I recognize all these things. I don't agree with most of those things myself. Uh, I would certainly consider, I, I wouldn't call his, you know, I, illegal immigration is another video. That's the only issue where I would question his plan was it, it certain aspects of it were positive, certain aspects were not. Um, but the point is, you know, uh, McCain is an imperfect servant of his country by his own uh, standards. Senator McCain has led the fight for America's national defense, and he lately has been a citizen's watchdog for our tax dollars and for his entire political career. I think he stood up for integrity. Of course, he's an American hero, and I hope Arizonans re-elect Senator John McCain. Uh, J.D. Hayworth comes across as, frankly, obnoxious and arrogant. Uh, he talks about his, his idea of an accomplishment is when you sat on a committee in Congress. He thinks that's an accomplishment. I, I call that a Washington insider. So, J.D., truly, J.D. Hayworth's the one who's a Washington, more of a Washington insider than John McCain, because McCain, despite being in Washington longer, acts like a reformer, whereas Hayworth acts like a Washington insider. So I think Arizonans need somebody who's going to fight for them, for their national security interest, and for uh, you know their, their tax dollars, and I think Senator McCain is that candidate. And if you don't agree with me, well, just look at what Governor Romney, what Grover Norquist, what American and Americans for Tax Reform have said. They all agree with me. Uh, fiscal conservatives uh, like that agree with me. And let me tell you this, that uh, John McCain was instrumental in supporting the Bush policies to defend this country. In fact, some of them could be called, the, the, the this president wanted to call them the Bush-McCain policies. Of course, I guess the president had something against defending this country in the way that George Bush did. He has his own way, but I, I don't necessarily agree with it. But the thing is, John McCain's a fighter, and I hope you re-elect him.